Hi guys! You can probably see Fenway is joining us tonight um, and he's slightly annoyed at me. But um, I wanted to come to you because we've had a lot of questions about whoops, how the dogs are doing and I think Sydney is coming to say hi also. Let me see if she will. Say hi Sydney! Um, we've had a lot of questions about how the dogs are doing and um, I just wanted to come to you really briefly and chat with you about that. Uh, we are doing well at home. Maybe Sydney will sit down. Maybe not. She's going to leave. That's fine. Um, and they are doing really well here. Um, I am doing well with them being here. They truthfully weren't going to come home right away, but it didn't feel like home without them here. So I see some people popping on. If someone can just comment and let me know that you can hear me, that would be great. So um, anyway, so the dogs weren't going to come home right away. Sorry, everything fits me really weird because of this crazy fixator. Um, but um, hi, Carol. Can you hear me? Can anyone hear me? Um, but anyway, so they ended up coming home because it just didn't feel like home without them being here. And they've been doing really well. They've been really tolerant. Fenway is you know, Fenway, um, he's a little bit of a difficult dog, but overall he's been really good and Sydney is thankfully an excellent puppy, which has been great. Um, I don't exactly think that she's gonna be my next, you know, star obedience dog the way Fenway is, but that's okay. Um, she is a lovely pet dog and I truthfully feel like, you know, my life would not be complete without her and I think that Doug feels the same way. So, um, anyway, so my mother actually, and I don't know if she is watching this right now, got in touch with the woman that called 911 that was in the car behind me when I got hit. And um, my mother asked her kind of what happened to Sydney because as many of you know, Sydney had like one scratch on her, literally, and that was it, which is crazy because, you know, she was with me when I got hit by a car at like, I don't know, full speed essentially. So um, I got hit on my right side and um, the person, so I was like three quarters of the way through the crosswalk and I think the person going, well the person going the other way had stopped for me so my guess is I was thanking them as I got hit but I don't remember. Fenway is going to come up. Oops, sorry guys. Um, and he, um, so as I was thanking them is when I got hit and I got hit on my right side I know you can see part of Fenway, and he's not moving. Um, let's see, does he wanna say hi? Do you wanna say hi to the camera, bud? Hello? Okay, so um, I got hit on my right side, and I think, I'm gonna guess that he was on my left. Um, I'm getting photobombed right now by my dog's ear, if everyone can't tell. Oh, and his nose, and his eyeball, <laughs> and his everything. He just apparently wants to stay with me right now. So we're not going to worry about that. Um, <laughs> this is how tonight's video is going to go. But anyway, so um, when I got hit, Sydney actually had a harness on, which is really good because like her neck wasn't strained in any way, shape, or form. Um, and when I got hit, I'm going to guess she was on my left and I got hit on my right. My right pelvis is way more shattered than my left. And she uh, and I let go and she went flying through the air, I guess, but she landed on the grass um, and she's really, really young. She was like five or so months when it happened. Um, there goes Fenway's eyeball again. <laughs> Sorry. I hope you guys can still hear me. Um, she was like five or so months when it happened, four and a half months, and she, she bounced um, which is great, obviously, and Fenway was not with me. And um, when she landed on the grass, I guess she ran right over to me and sat by me, which is pretty amazing. Um, dogs are just like amazing creatures. We had only had her about a month when I got hit. For those of you that don't know, we adopted her on July 2nd, um, and that was the first time we ever met her. And... Um, you know, I barely knew her and we had actually spent like about a, a week away on vacation. So she had stayed with a friend and she is just like the most resilient 
little booger um, I've ever met and I'm so thankful for her. Her and Fenway are like night and day. He's like a totally different dog than her, but they get along great. Um, but yeah, isn't that, I, I, when my mom told me that, I was like, that is crazy. Like she literally just bounced and let me tell you, like if she had run away, they would never have been able to find Doug because um, as I've told you guys before, I didn't have an ID on me. So they found him by calling his number, which was on her tag. Both of our numbers are on her tag. Um, and they called him and if she had run away, like we never would have found her. So she's not a skittish dog. Like that's not her personality, but she also didn't know me that well. So I kind of want to share that with you guys. I know I have a lot of, um, animal lovers on this page and like I could have written it out, but I just felt like, you know, it was kind of important to come from me. Um, and apparently Fenway felt like it was his time to be on camera tonight. Um, <laughs> but you know, she's. She's over on the other side of the couch relaxing. Um, I don't know if I can get her. Do you see her? There she is. She's tired. She's really tired. This is where we sit all day, just hanging out on the couch. So it's crazy, guys. Um, but if you have a dog, like, and they drive you nuts sometimes, which I know they do. I have one. He's right here. Um, just know that like they have your back, honestly, like it is just amazing to me that she, um, did that for me after barely knowing me. She's an amazing little creature and, um, we love her and we don't know what we would do without her. So yay for my animal lovers. Um, if you love your dog, drop a picture of them below. I would love to see them. I am all about my puppies. Um, and you know, would love to see what your puppies look like. So that's all I have. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.